This icon video focuses on creating charts in icon. As with all icon tasks, there are multiple ways to create charts. The simplest is via the search bar next to the icon icon. Type chart into the search bar and icon will use predictive text to pull up different options that relate to charts. Looking at the list created, you can see that on the left in gray, each item has a code box. These codes tell you what sort of resource the item represents. For a charting app, you'll want to select an app code. There are two main charting apps. Both have useful functions, but if you want to be able to export the chart data, then you will want to select the Financial Charts app. When the Financial Chart app opens, you see that it has charted the equity you last worked with. In this case, that is Amazon. You can easily change the instrument you're charting by typing the name in the Change Instrument field that is found directly under the Instrument menu on the left. I'm going to change to Apple. You can add other instruments by typing them in the Add Instrument box. I'm going to add IBM to the chart. As you add other instruments, a new Add Instrument box will be created and the new data graphed. You can also use the drop-down menu next to the instrument to add items. By opening the drop-down menu next to Apple, I can go to the Indices option, which opens the indices related to my original instrument. I'm going to add the NASDAQ 100 to our chart. There are two other menus on the left. One is Price Series. Using this menu allows you to change the type of data used to create the chart. The Options menu allows you to modify the chart's appearance. For example, if you have difficulty reading the chart on the dark background, you can select Light from the themes. To change the interval, select the drop-down option in the middle of the menu across the top of the chart. It defaults to daily, but you can broaden or narrow that interval. To change the period of time you're viewing, select from the bar at the bottom. I'm going to select Max, which will display the price data from the IPO for the listed equities to the present. You can make changes to the chart using the drop-down menus on each of the instruments as well. These menus mirror the instrument-specific menus on the left. Once you have the chart you need, you may wish to view the data as a table or export either the data or the chart. To view the data, click on the Data Table icon at the right of the menu at the top of the chart. It looks like a grid. To go back to the chart, simply click the Data Table icon again. To export, go to the Excel icon about halfway across the same menu. Using the drop-down option, select the data format you'd like to export, either an image, an Excel file, or a PDF. When exporting to Excel, you will be asked to name the chart. The other easy way to access a chart is when you are already in an instrument. Let's go into Apple as an equity using the icon search bar. From the Company Overview page, I can use the Price and Charts menu and select Financial Chart. By selecting the Financial Chart, I open the same app. The chart, when it opens, defaults to a view without the left side menu. To open that menu, simply click on this arrow icon on the far left. This is the exact same app that we explored earlier, and all the menus and functionalities are the same. Thank you for watching our icon charting video. If you have any questions, please contact us at our InfoLib email.